My name is uh, Chikwanda Mulenga. I'm a civilian firefighter. So, today we're going to learn about uh, power takeoff. How these uh, machines, they operate. Learn about uh, how to engage the pump. So, as you can see, we have uh, two fire trucks. That side, we have... Uh, Euro truck, Euro truck from Russia, and then here we have a big machine fire truck, E1 machine, made from America. So let's let's get inside and see how how we are going to talk about power table. Yeah, this is my machine. This is my machine. So, first of all, power takeoff is the transfer of full engine power which drives the vehicle forward or backward to drive the pump. <laughs> and then we have two types of power takeoff. There is top and side takeoff. So the top takeoff is the one which is mainly used to just drive the pump. And then the side takeoff is mainly used how to, to increase the pressure either high or low. So as you can see, here we have the master switch. And then, so as you can see, this engine is on right now. That sound it means that it's picking up pressure. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to concentrate. Is it possible? If a moving fire truck can 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 supply me the way it's moving, the answer is yes. So first, let's talk about power takeoff, and then we have two types of power takeoff. Which is it, man? Off. So we have two types of power takeoff. One we have sandwich power takeoff. And then we also have split shaft drive power takeoff. So sandwich power takeoff. This is the most used power takeoff. This power takeoff is mainly connected between the gearbox and the engine and then the split power takeoff is connected between the rear axle to the main engine so right now we are going to concentrate how these machines operate or how do we engage the power takeoff and then it also has a, it also has the cooling system so cooling system we have um, 
direct open and direct open closed direct open closed is used when uh, when you are running the engine and then the pump is coming heat it's coming overheated so that's the one we're going to use so the way it is sandwich it has a small pipe which is connected to the pump and then it passes through water from the pump to the engine waste or it returns back to the pump inlet so that one we are done we are done and then we also have uh, indirect closed indirect closed when the pump becomes overheated or when you are running the pump for example you are running the pump and it has a uh, it has been running for a while while the delivery outlet is closed the, the pump will be overheat it, it will be overheated so in order to to make it cool we only have two methods we are going to recycle water from the mini pump or withdraw a little quantity of water from the water from the mini pump and that and then in that case the the pump is going to cool down the last one we have the secondary cooling system which is the radiator the radiator so the radiator the way it is there's a pipe from the pump going to the engine from the pump where there's a where there's a water going to the engine so when the, the when the engine becomes overheated or maybe the water from the radiator it becomes hot what happened is that it, the water from the pump is going to run from the pump back side there from the pump where the tank is to the what to the engine but is is not going to meet with uh with uh with the with the hot water from the from the radiator it just passes by just picking it up and cool it down that's the way it operates yeah as you can see here we have the joystick we have the joystick so right now we are going to talk about the main topic is it possible that a moving fire tender can quench fire while it's moving the answer is yes the answer is yes so what it is for example the aircraft is coming to land and then is it's uh it's it 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 has an emergence whereby fire whereby there's fire one of the aircraft engines immediately it runs it means that the, the firemen and the fire tenders they are already waiting for it to run so we are going to chase it immediately we are going to reach just nearby because you cannot jump from this fire tender while it's moving it's dangerous so what we are going to use is the bumper turret under the root 
the roof turrets. So as you can see that side, that side there is a bumper turret. So as you can see, this is a bumper turret. And there on top, we have a roof turret. This, this is automatic. And it can, uh, it can spray water from 75 feet up to 100 feet. So we are going to switch this machine on and uh, and you guys are going to see how this these things operate because I alone or maybe two we can't manage to move this because it's automatic so we are going to switch it from inside and then do our jargons as a fireman I'm with my boss here, my shift boss, the IC, the E1 machine. So we use this, eh? we use this the bumper turret or the roof turret by controlling the what? Eh? You, by controlling it using a joystick. While, while we are going to wait, while we are going to wait eh, for the for the fire crewmen to come out and uh, unroll their horses and do the cap the couples so right now we're going to switch it on as you can see master power next so this is now a joystick as you can see as you can see that's that's the bumper turret I'm using this this stick it it calls a, it called as a joystick up up down it's moving it's moving, making an angle, it's moving, it's moving, so you are going to say, ah, it's that way, so for example, you are, you are chasing uh, the aircraft, it's on fire, it's on fire, we use this, while waiting for the firemen to come out to do the couples, and rolling the horses so we use this on top we also have the roof turret so the roof turret is the one which we use mostly because it, you see it's moving it's moving yeah so wait and see Wait and see for it from our side. This is how we operate when it comes to power takeoff. So the question is that uh, now the, the most important thing is that uh, when using this joystick, you are chasing the aircraft, we cannot move at the high speed. We cannot move at the high speed 
we are going to move at a low medium speed meaning that when we are going to force this engine maybe to move to be moving at a high speed 80 we are chasing the aircraft we want to quench it it means that we are going to damage this engine that's the way it is because power takeoff is the transfer of a full engine power which drives the vehicle forward or backward which is reverse to drive the bump so the same power we're going to we're, we'll be moving forward chasing the aircraft is the same power we are going to use while operating this water while pouring water this is the same power we'll be using So it is recommended that when we are chasing the aircraft, we should be moving at a low speed. Meaning that the aircraft is about, is about to stop. It's about to stop. That's the way it is. Otherwise, this is a, a nice topic. My favorite topic about this fire tender is power takeoff i know there is a lot of power takeoff but this one is different from others whereby a vehicle it has a the vehicle it has a it has a container a refrigerator that's also power takeoff a mix of cement that vehicle is really it's, it's revolving behind the vehicle. That's also power takeoff. But this one is the best power takeoff. So for today, for today, I think we are done. So there's power takeoff, types of power takeoff, sandwich split shaft drive what drives the main pump is a stop takeoff so when it's, when we're going to spray water what power takeoff we're going to use when increasing and reducing the pressure we're going to use the sandwich power takeoff because it is mainly used it is mainly used when increasing and reducing pressure so as you can hear as you can see here let me just move when we talk about sandwich power takeoff as you can see here we have this button this is sandwich power takeoff it is mainly used when increasing and reducing pressure so when you when we're spraying that side you want to reduce you'll be doing it like this it's reducing pressure when you're fellow farming told you that ah, increase pressure we're going to to increase we're going to increase like this As you can see this is a nice job very interesting check out the check out the system hmm? check out the system it's moving it's moving moving smoothing 
check out. It's automatic. It's moving. And then here you can you can maintain choose the angle you want this this thing to be. So there it's at, it's at 45 degrees. You can also put it at 90 degrees angle. Like this. Automatic oscillation limits adjust limits. This is a nice office. The fans. This is a nice office. As you can see, yeah, this is a nice job. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching, watching this video. Thanks for watching. We are going to meet in the next video. It's coming soon. As for today, we are done. And uh, by the grace of God, I'll be doing this almost every day almost every day thanks very much world thanks very much family my fellow workmates because firemen uh, it's all about uh, team orientation you know you, you cannot work alone it's impossible So for today, I think we are done. We are done for today. So now, oh. Fireman, we are to